I ended up seeing a girl when, when once I'd got past that stage in my life. Once I'd gotten over wrestling, I had a date, and that could be a little lesson to some of you. Uh, <laughs> I ended up seeing the girl that ran the cafeteria for the local wrestling, and <laughs> I went I went and picked her up. I had to pick her up one night. And I couldn't understand why she wasn't like out of the school gym that they were doing it in. <laughs> and I came in, I was like, what's going on? And she's like, well, the champ got up on the top rope. <laughs> and he was not entirely sober. <laughs> <laughs> so he fell off, cracked his head open, and we had to call the ambulance. And I was like, well, why is everyone still here? And they're like, she was like, they want to know if the title changed hands. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I know these calls are all anonymous, but uh, I'll be honest here. That was from a live podcast that I did in Edinburgh, Scotland, and I believe 2000 and either 16 or 17. It actually came up on my Facebook memories because I had put this on YouTube and it was just Glenn Wool the comedian telling this story during the Edinburgh Fringe. And I thought it was such a fun story that now that I have a podcast about wrestling stories, it is the perfect wrestling story to be told on this podcast. So I thought I would add it. Those Edinburgh shows from The Art of Wrestling are some of my favorites, by the way. They are true hidden gems. The first couple years are actual live podcasts. And then the last couple of years are me doing my show with either Brendan Burns or John Hastings. And then the first 10 minutes before we do the show, we talk to the comedians on stage just about any kind of wrestling stories or memories, and I put those in the podcast. True Hidden Gems, of course, they're all up for free on the Art of Wrestling podcast feed. Please feel free, go back and listen to those. As for this story, I can't add to it any better. Glenn Wool is a professional comedian. He was just telling the story, but it makes sense. In local Canadian wrestling, the wrestler was drunk and hurt and bad, but finish the storyline. I guess that still makes sense now. Finish the storyline. That's all we ask as a wrestling fan. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly. Wherever you listen to your podcast, go subscribe. And while you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.